Hey y'all, we're back with another video. It's Kev from Embody here. We've done a few setups, a few videos showcasing Dolby Atmos workflows with the internal renderer and Pro Tools, utilizing our new monitoring features in Apple Music. I wanted to showcase how you'd set that up with the Dolby external renderer. You can transfer this knowledge to any DAW and still use our monitoring features, so that way we can monitor Dolby Binaural, Apple Music, speaker-based listen back, and still reference that stereo mix. Let's get started. First thing I'm going to do in Pro Tools is make sure I'm set up with the Dolby Audio Bridge as my playback engine. Our signal flow, instead of right out of Pro Tools into IVS, now is going to be out of Pro Tools into that Dolby external renderer, then into IVS. In the Preferences page in my Dolby Atmos renderer, I'm going to choose Dolby Audio Bridge as my input and Immerse Audio Bridge as my output. Again, we're accepting that audio from Pro Tools and we're gonna spit it out to Immerse Virtual Studio Signature Edition right here. In my Room Setup page, in Routing, I'm going to make sure my first 12 channels are routed SMPTE order to my speakers. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 through 12 for the tops. Additionally, here in Headphones, I'm going to set up my headphones as 17 and 18. That's going to be my Dolby binaural output. That's what a consumer is going to hear on. Amazon Music and Tidal when they're listening over headphones. So it's crucial that I can listen to that. So that's set to 17 and 18. So now my 714 output is feeding into Immerse Virtual Studio, channels 1 through 12. My Dolby Binaural is feeding into Immerse Virtual Studio as 17 and 18, which I can use those additional monitoring features we've been seeing for that specific purpose. Here in my I.O. page, let's say if I'm using my Scarlet here, got my input as a Merce Audio Bridge, my output's my Scarlet, that's going to be my headphones, and then here at additional monitoring sources, I have 17 and 18, that's going to be my Dolby Binaural. So now I'm set up for listening for Apple Music, for Dolby Binaural, I'm also set up for listening through Immerse Virtual Studio through any of our rooms. So I've got channel based, I've got Apple Music, I've got Dolby, all settled. But I still need to make sure that I'm matching my stereo reference, at least sonically, um, contextually, right? So that's still something we need to set up in our additional monitoring features. This source C, I wanna make sure is still being fed from that stereo reference. So we've gotta figure out how to do that. Back over in Pro Tools, I have my stereo reference right here. It exists on my timeline as a track in Pro Tools. I eventually need to get that to, let's say, 19 and 20, that additional monitoring source C, which I have set up as Immerse Virtual Studio, Immerse Audio Bridge Input, 19 and 20. So how do I get this track in Pro Tools? When it's playback engine, it's Dolby Audio Bridge. I need this one specific track to feed into Immerse Audio Bridge, 19 and 20. Thankfully, Pro Tools has designed a great feature for this. We're gonna use our Aux IO feature to set this up. So go to Setup, IO. In your Outputs page, you'll see an Aux IO tab right here. We're gonna click that. And then we can add in any of our core audio devices. So I can see Immerse Audio Bridge Outputs, and I'm going to choose those right here. Now if I scroll all the way down to my Outputs, I can see I have all these options for Immerse Audio Bridge, 1 through 32, which is great. We just need 19 and 20. Uh, 17 and 18 is fed from the Dolby renderer. So here in outputs, I'm going to choose Immerse Audio Bridge 19 and 20. And now even though the playback engine is Dolby Audio Bridge and it's connected to the renderer, this one specific track is bypassing the renderer and it's going right to IVS, right to source C. So when I toggle that, I should be able to hear the stereo reference mix. Let's see what we've got. Nice, perfect. And now I'm going over to Apple Music and we've got all of our specific options. And now we can monitor, just like the big studios do, we can monitor Apple Music, we can monitor Dolby Binaural, we can monitor speaker based in a mastering suite, in a mixing suite, and we can match that all to our stereo reference. We can A, B, C, D between all of these sources and really feel confident that our mix is going to translate in any environment, and that's the goal, right? That us as mixers, you as mixers feel confident that what you've got is gonna sound great no matter where it's listened back, no matter what headphone, what streaming service, that doesn't matter. We're giving you the tools to jump right in and start mixing. 
Enjoy.